So did you watch that the the end of the tournament there? Of course, I watched. I watched the the I watched the entire last uh, card go out. I watched that whole thing and then the rest of it because at one point there were there was like five, five guys t- tied for first at nineteen under. Yeah, it was an absolutely packed leaderboard, mm-hmm. and I was so excited watching it come down the stretch. And then, I mean, what what were your kind of thoughts as uh, as you watched the ending of that all? So. Obviously, I love the storyline between like Tom Kim and Shuffler because they're like they're actual buddies and they're yeah. like their families are really close. So like watching them kind of like they were like you you could watch when they were like walking to the next tee box or walking down the fairways. They weren't like talking too much, but they would make like it was little... very much them. And then Ashke was like his Correct. own thing. Correct. Yeah, and which was... I love Ashke. He's so yeah, cool. He's his so, whole story. They're, they're all so cool. But... but like Tom and Shuffer were like they were still like zoned in. But like yeah. somebody would say something to break the ice, and they'd be like, <laughs> and then just go back. And it was like really funny. So then obviously step up an eighteen, uh, and then. I don't know where we're going with this. TJ's got a very excited story for this. So obviously there's protesters. Uh, 18 was a wild time because then it ended up being Shuffler taps in for par. Kim hits the birdie to tie. Uh, but right before that, we've got some protesters out there throwing some stuff on the greens. Yeah, that was that was wild. It was but... wild. What was it even about? I don't. I wasn't even paying attention so, so much about the after. Effect. I personally don't know because on what I was watching, they teed off on 18. I mm. watched Shuffler hit his approach. And then what popped up on my screen, but a tornado warning for somewhere in fucking Binghamton, CNY Central pops up and I don't know what's happening. All I know is they're tied (laughs) and it's just like, I'm like, okay, whatever. This is going to be like a quick thing and it'll be like a few minutes and then I'll cut and they'll be on the green and I'll get to watch them putt. Mm -hmm. And I like look, so I'm looking at my phone and now I see Tom Kim hit like, cause I had that, like the shot tracer mm-hmm. and it shows like, he's like nine feet from the hole. And I was like, Oh shit, he has a chance. I realized like, okay, he can make birdie. Shuffler's probably going to only make par cause he was like 30 something feet. Yeah. But I'm just looking at stats and that's strong at the green. Cause I don't know what's happening. Mm-hmm. And I'm waiting for this like tornado warning thing to wrap up. And it's now it's five minutes and they're still going. And I don't know what is happening. It got to about 15 minutes. And I Facebook message seeing my central like what when is this getting back to the broadcast? Because it's nowhere they're doing this for an hour away, and this man first the audio production of this that's was the old white man. unbelievable. That's the most old white man thing I've ever. I know people that work there, and it very clearly was interns running the audio. It was like let's test these interns. Let's see if they can handle this. They're cutting back and forth, and like oh the God. first few seconds when like. Like if I'm doing the weather and I'm showing you the map, then it sure. cuts to you and you're talking. But your mic's muted for five seconds before they. Oh my god, that's. But so then they're funny. explaining it's this is a a warning, not a watch. What's the difference between a warning? What's meanwhile the protesters are on the green and I don't even fucking know what's going oh on. Oh my god, I'm waiting. I'm refreshing. Like, is Kim <laughs> gonna put this ball? Because I want to know. It's uh, what the fuck is happening? This thing goes on for thirty minutes. Oh my god! Play and I finally over. see. I see he made birdie, and I was like, okay, there should be some time, and then I, I should like have a window to get back to the playoff. Oh Luckily, god. the protesters delayed all of they this. They delayed it. They so it by the time I got back, about thirty-seven minutes later, mm-hmm. they're about to tee off on eighteen. That is fucking hilarious. I didn't know about all the protesters. All I knew was they were environmentalists. They were like Kim. I, I yeah. saw the clips after, like yeah, Danny yeah. Rap and stuff, but. Yeah. I was just like, how did it take them so long from when I cut that out? That is fucking hilarious. So that at least helped, but I still missed the important putts. Uh, we were at, so actually that makes more that makes more sense because we were at band practice and we're sitting there and like we were waiting for people to get there and I watched it all happen. We're like, oh shit, that's crazy. And then it like, the the feed cut out because it was low. I, now I realize that it was local, the local weather station that oh, did that because it went blue. And then, like, we had to change, like, we were changed to a different uh, channel or something and got to watch it. But it was just, that's, that is so, I messaged. The, the broadcast had already, like, shifted because, like, I think they started later because the weather, like, each day was kind of moving yeah. because of all the storms. Yeah. And they bumped it later on Paramount. Oh. And I was like, there's no way, like, this has to be on something else. I can't but wait to see that clip. NBC Peacock was like covering the Olympic trials and all this yeah, shit. Yeah. So it was literally nowhere else. And I can't I know people there. <laughs> I know people there. <laughs> I was just so I good. was fem- I was screaming at the TV and I was just like, what the fuck is happening? I'm just trying to watch. And then so 
we had golfed that morning. Oh, I golfed with the Vegas and EJ, right? Mm-hmm. And so then it finally wraps up, and Anthony calls me after, like, well, what would you think about all watching all this? Well, the rest of the round, I was like, like Fuck I didn't Fuck fucking you. see it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Anthony Van Lyon's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, he left early because the, the, the crying baby, so he didn't know how the end of our round ended. <laughs> he left, the man's at Sunset Ridge. I don't know if you've ever played down there. <laughs> Sorry, man left because he's got crying baby. <laughs> TJ is hot right now. This is going to be a good episode. It's not the best course to try to walk back to the clubhouse because oh it's my God. holes like cross each other and right. there's double greens. Ooh. So he missed the end of our round and then he's asking me how that went and asking me what I thought of the end of the pro round and I didn't even see the end of the pro round. That is top tier entertainment. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.